And we are back. All right. After the bullshit. Whoa, hello! Free gems. A whole shit ton of them. And here's Twilight Harbor. I told you shit gets real here. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the actual? What? Okay. Okay. Temporary invisible wall. <laughs> Clipping! Game said no, bitch. Okay. Does that got... Well, look at that Nork up ahead. I can't tell quite clearly. Oh, shit, he's packing. He's got an automatic gun. Damn, is that what... It's just... Is that part of where the challenge comes from at this stage? Yeah, and there's an even tougher one, a commando. It looks like he's got a friggin' MG-42. Oh, shit. <laughs> lava. lava. And there's also these fuckers with the swords and they talk frags. My good. This stage and wants you fucking dead. And I died. And Nasty Norx plans have succeeded. <laughs> Take no prisoners. And Only I had a shotgun. But I've got a flamethrower. Which is, a, it scatters. It has piss poor range, so I guess it counts as a shotgun. <laughs> Ow, crap! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Into the marinara sauce. <laughs> what? The splash is yellow, dude. Well, no, marinara sauce. Not, not, not marinara sauce. What am I thinking? Um, Ranch dressing? Actually, with the coloration, it kind of looks like low-res SpaghettiOs. That is some deep purple. And down you go. <laughs> That's the third time I fucked up there in a row. <laughs> Two lives. Can you capitalize? That was bad. You should feel that. How was that bad? I don't get. Here's a commando I told you about. Hmm. That friggin' sweet fires the area, and the bullets are pointed. Pointy bullets. <laughs> Armor piercing. Good for killing dragons. Especially ones that are purple. It's it's very effective, especially against living things. A weapon. It's very effective, especially against things that are alive. You miss the well. You don't play Resident Evil, so you. Don't yeah, play. I know the reference. You know the reference. Okay, good. Thank you for releasing me. Another. <clears throat> that's a reason. That's a reason why I'm oh. going to be sad because I uh, inevitably. And when, splash. When I learn the game. I do, or when I learn the games, I do plan on getting to classic Resident Evil, but I don't own the original. I own the remake. So we're gonna miss the amazing lines from Barry Jill Sandwich Burton. And we're also gonna miss the horrible puns from Chris Fuck Boulder's Redfield. <laughs> I'm serious. If people talk about Barry being gnarmy as shit, Chris is just as bad. You can't kill me! Ow, you fucker! You got whacked. No, I ate a, fr I ate a grenade is what I ate. Uh, yeah, yeah, Spyro doesn't quite have the, the ability to handle those just yet. Give him to Spyro 3. Oh, supercharge. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. This might end up being a, the third save state moment of, of the LP. Is it that bad? Nah, not really. There's just multiple things to get here. Oh, okay. Like that. Strong box! Nice job! And you obliterated some fodder in the process. <laughs> he had no fucking chance. Obliterated! Serious homage. What? That is another case. I want the, the other case for the UT announcer. Kladish! Be on the lookout for Nort Commandos, Spyro. They the Pillsbury Dough Dragon! 
The Michelin Dragon. God, he looks like fucking Babenda, did not he? <laughs> Babenda, that's the name of the Michelin Man. Ah. Uh, see, I, I, I don't know half the shit you know about culture. Then again, you're a history major, so... Yeah. It's kind of expected that you know some culture. I'm also a gearhead. Yeah. Wait, in a gearhead that doesn't have a car. Yep. The only cars I have are on Gran Turismo and Project Cars. I have more real-world cars than you. It's just a shoebox full of Hot Wheels. Try, try two shipping... Try two shipping uh, pallets full of Hot Wheels for me. Seriously? Yes. Shush. Bo bottle, bottle places and bottle transporters full of Hot Wheels. Wow. Two. Assorted hat. I hear... Hang on, I gotta run across this thing again. <gasps> See, I have a... Well, it's not a shoe. It's a, like a... More of a boot box. Yeah. F full of Hot Wheels. And another boot box full of Lego. Yeah. Those were the two things that uh, I played with as a kid that weren't video games. And I was absolutely terrible with Lego. <laughs> Yeah, I played with Lego. I played with Lego a lot myself. And I intended to uh, build spaceships out of them. Same. I. <laughs> what I would usually do is build a wall of Lego, take a Hot Wheels track, and tape it to the dresser. Then let a car go down and smash through the wall. Because destroy all the things. Exactly. I, I was a typical Where boy. Is that extra life? Oh, drop. oh god. Hang on. Drop. Are you gonna use a life to get a life? Shut it. Well, you've yes. already lost three, so. I'm stealing your line. Shut it. <laughs> oh god, you're gonna have to use this to get it? Hey, God, you are, you are giving the, the fodder hell. Fuck it, I'm coming back there later. Okay. Double kill! Triple kill! Never being a gun to a dragon fight. <laughs> Why am I imagining the, the uh, announcer from Metal Slug right now? Fuck if I know, I've never played Metal Slug. <laughs> Shotgun! Rocket launcher! I mean, that guy has such bad English. Wasn't it a Japanese translated thing? Fuck! Eh, shot up like a heroin addict. Hey, bullshit! I'm down there! You can't hit me! Oh, that's a load of shit! What the hell? Well, at least you're right back here. Ah! What Kick the his... fuck?! Kick his ass! This one tr and I got shot in the back. Damn. What the hell? I told you shit get serious. God, no kidding. That was... That guy... Yeah. Fuck off, asshole. 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 That's not a Christian thing to say, but I will say it anyway. Mm, I ain't no Christian. Nor am I. Not anymore. Same. Until about two, three years ago. As George Carlin said, when I reached the age of reason. <laughs> which, for me, was 20. For me, it was about 19. Mm. Dying gems! Yay! Bullshit! Horse cock! <laughs> Alright, Mr. Furry. Shut up. I was making a furry. You know you don't have to kill them all, Mr. Sociopath. If I want to stay alive, I gotta kill them all. You really gotta get rid of that last one there, and you'll be fine, I think. Fuck their shit up. If you Com must. The commandos sweet fire. Hey, got another life. Oh, good. Finally. Yeah, the problem. And the problem it's gonna go away now. The problem with the soldiers is they they act, they they shoot a burst straight at you. Yeah. Which is how they got you before. 
It's still a load of yep. shit, but... Damn it! You shouldn't have tried charging in mid-air. That's what I did! It fucked me up. That's what I'm saying, that was unwise. Let's try that again. We might have Geo number three. I think oh. Geo number two or one was lost. No. Yeah, that was Geo number two. Yeah. Behind the Double. scenes, he's worse than you think. That's because I was flustered, okay? Yeah, you were. Now I'm just getting my shit wrecked by Commando. God. I told you shit, Damn, got, shit got real in this These guys level. are dicks. Find some fodder to save your ass. I guess I'll, I'll backtrack for that. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing there? Uh, I was just trying to find that, that life creature. Never hit the gas. <laughs> Rage. Mr. Regular. Regular car reviews. Love that. And... Come on, get out, get out, get out. I got I'm fine. Go for it. As, as I was saying, Mr. Regular. The only... Regular car reviews is the only car, like, car review show I've ever seen in my life. Where... Where you have, like, <laughs> the narrator, whenever he slips into a really deep, gruff voice, you can be sure that some some perverted shit's going on. <laughs> like, a, a direct quote. Mm, can't hold that's all that down my penis. <laughs> There's that stupid fucking life, life chest. Do you really want to risk your last life on it? I ain't gonna rip. I ain't risking shit. So the answer is no. No, the answer is yes. Because I know it's not much of a risk. It's just, it's, it's just a it's hard pure, jump. It's pure platforming, and I can easily make it up there. Mm. Oh, what happened I, to I your supercharger? I got tripped up. Oh. oh, come on, Spyro. Hey! Hey! And I can and see him start straight to his ass. And where's that life? Right here. Perfect. So we can get that da -da -da -da. the next time things go bad. It might respawn, might not. I don't know. That last one respawned, so. Oh, that was North Cove. This is Twilight Harbor. Different levels, different policies, different bullshit. Uh, maybe the same chest with the same properties, though. Maybe. I don't think... I, I, I don't see them coding two different chests for um, the same world. Especially not the last world, you know? Sorry. That that just that does not game design well with me. I've never heard that phrase. That does not game design. Well with me. Uh, <coughs> heard, heard this does not logic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maybe. Okay. It's a sort of play on that. Oh, you fucker! How much? Five. Cock. Be right, right back. Be right back, folks. Uh oh, I see something shiny. Oh, shiny thing. Oh, no, it's a life crate and a... A dude! A Nort to fuck. And there we go! And get another life. Take that, and let's get the, the fuck out of here. Yeah, and I can't exit by the menu. Yep. So, see you guys back at Nasties. Why did the title Five Nights of Nasties pop in my head? That sounds like a Five Nights at Freddy's snuff porno. <laughs> Or just a Five Nights at Freddy's porno. So Six Nights at Susie's? <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing. Oh god. It was a... It, ever heard of a... You, you've never heard of Digital Homicide, have you? No. Oh shit! Okay, they're the people that made the Slaughtering Grounds. They've made... They have tried to release seven games on Steam in the last year. They're one of the most creatively bankrupt companies ever. Well... Not really a company, it's an individual. 
and he's really he's I don't know how many he's actually gotten released. Anyway, we're back. We were talking about you're back it. with the bullshit. Yes. He was just... talking about a uh, like this really digitally oh. bankrupt, creatively bankrupt game developer by the name of Digital Ooh. Homicide. Those were all the first ones were all fives. Those were all tens. I bet the next ones are going to be twenty fives. They're going to be it's going to be through there. Hmm. Well, that's it for the home world. Yeah. There's one level we can't show you right now. It's which nasty. Is that, one. Is that is that nasty? That's nasty's loot. loot. We don't have 100 percent completion just yet. So well, before I go. beat him, beat nasty Nork's ass, and I know how to, I'm just going to go ahead and say we're going to probably going to try to get 100 percent completion off camera, then go in there. All right. But this, but it might prove very, very, very annoying. There we go. Damn it. Slipping. We may do it. We'll just have to... We're just going to play it by ear, folks. If we can get them, we will. If we can't, then fuck it. You'll see it in an extra video. Best if we do in the it. game. Ooh, hello. Look at that. Pink gem. That's worth a bunch of money. Ah. So, final boss time. Uh, well, I can't directly hurt him. I'm just gonna grab the gems first. Okay. So, how do you deal with, uh, this asshole? That green key thief right there. Uh... You have to kill him to unlock this door that I'm running towards. Mm-hmm. Or close to it so he can see, remember. He, they know. He, he's they called know. that blind guy for a reason. Yes. Gotta go the other way. That's and an exit. No, nah, it's the uh, it's the wrong way to heaven. For a second, I thought you said the wrong way to heaven, which sounds like a classic rock song. It really does. <laughs> I'm gonna guess these guys are the hardest of their their kind. Nah, I'm usually able to smoke them and just kind of kind of unused to this controller. Oh. I've been playing with it the whole playthrough. I'm, I'm far better at with my own uh, DS4. Even though the layout is virtually the same, it, the feel's a bit different. There we go, got it. Does it seem like the thief melts after you kill him? Because he seems to flatten out. Maybe he, maybe he disappears before his cloak does? Hmm. Or he's a Ganado. Resident Evil 4. When you kill them, they like melt away and gore and so they're kind of like maskers in in Rolling Thunder. Uh, I guess so. I don't know what that is. The main mood, they they melt away after you kill them. Oh, uh, then I guess so. But it's more um because of the explanation that the makers of the older Resident Evils gave for why when you kill a zombie, leave and come back. They aren't there. Their corpse isn't there anymore. They said that it was because the virus would eat what's left of the body, or something along Which those makes lines. Makes no goddamn sense. No, it doesn't. But then again, the the virus has nothing left to feed on when the zombie's dead. So it would be the only biological. Get option. back here, you little bitch! It'd be the only biological option for it to spread to the whole body and consume that. So they have the bodies in the four just melt away. Well, Damn it! Well, fuck. Well, I got a couple more lives, don't worry. You have to start over. Yes. Oh, Christ. And we are back. All right. And again, Nasty, get back here, you little cowardly bitch. Looking forward to toasting his buns, aren't you? <laughs> You'll be surprised how easily he actually goes down. Really? Is it like you finally get he to him in one hit? He takes all of two hits. Are you to die. are you shitting me? But there is some. There is the trickiest platforming in the game immediately up ahead. Uh oh. And we've seen his track record, folks. Shut up. <laughs> Don't jinx me, motherfucker. Hey, the the LP curse. I said, don't jinx me. Basically, what you have to do. You have to chase Nasty around, get up to that platform. There's a little circular platform I passed by. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he stands there for a little while, and you got to flame him when he's there. 
the end of this long winding path. Yes. My. Was this necessary? Yes. Every single bit of it. Why, though? That's one. And he dropped 25 gems there. Ah, you mugged him. Oh, boy. That looks... Yeah, and they're slowly retracting. Each one of them. Oh, so you have to book it. The jumps are all really tricky. Oh, God, that's... Oh boy, that's so Jesus. I can't even tell. Nah, that. too late. I'm oh, dead. fuck. We'll be right back. Oh god damn. <laughs> some short charges might do you some good. You got this. You're good. All right. Oh, oh you're gonna try to defend yourself, huh? Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> he is going to try to toast defend himself. Me. You're a toast, Nork. <laughs> Blah. Thanks for ruining the moment, Spyro. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Told you! Shut the fuck up. His toast! So Toasty! now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Roll credits. So, that was Spyro the Dragon, the very first. Yeah. The first platformer Insomniac Games ever made, and what a game. I'd say they, would you say they hit a home run with this first attempt? Yeah, I really would. I mean, frankly, what I could say about this game, they pulled off some pretty damn impressive stunts with the uh, graphics. You might want to get a little closer to the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they, pulled off, they pulled off some pretty good, some pretty good movies with the graphics here, because Theoretically, the, the level of graphical uh, detail that you see here in Spyro was not supposed to be possible. They used some really clever programming tricks, and they uh, concealed the loading delays very well through the uh, level transitions. And they also used lower poly models for distant objects. Yeah, it's kind of an a it's an active system, and it really it really helps them. It really does. So, what would you? Okay, so your thoughts. Soundtrack-wise, we've covered uh, pretty much everything else. I have no right. real experience with this game. Well, okay, you, you had another thought? Well, we've covered graphics, we've covered audio, see, some music by Stuart Copeland of The Police. Um, graphics, pretty good for the game, for the system. Uh, sound, pretty damn good, because we have a rock star composer. Dragon Voices, they were all by Clancy. Just also, about. Also, Carlos Alzaraki, Michael Gao, and Jamie Alcroft. And who was it that did the horrible Spyro voice? Michael Connor, it was Alzaraki. Mm. Spyro voiced by Carlos Alzaraki. Mm. See, I have very little experience with this game. I only ever played the demo. Mm. So, I don't have a whole lot to say, but from what I've seen, I'm impressed, definitely. Um, there, I have seen. I, I can tell there's some moments of bullshit, some cheap enemy placement, and, and some really stupid glides. Drinking. Yeah, seriously. But I mean, that was kind of characteristic of first games back in the '90s. So I can't fault it too much without having to say the same thing of other games. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. No, no sheep survived to tell you they were harmed during the creation of this game. A few norks, but no sheep. Yeah. <laughs> And we're turning home for some reason. Because now we're in the post game. Now we have. Whoa, we have another dragon! What Hello. the hell? Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. One because last time, Clancy. Until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. You will see that in an extra video. Possibly. Later on, hopefully. So... Uh, well, my other... Any thoughts on mine? If I had to say something about the soundtrack, it's great, but it's also very samey, in my opinion. Uh -huh. So... It's, it relies very heavily on that one late motif. Dum bum bum ba dum bum 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 Right. And also, you'll notice that running around here in Nasty's World is playing that same theme that played over in Toasty, 
in the first world. Mm -hmm. it, which is pretty much a kind of a, a somewhat dark reprise of the main theme of the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that about sums up uh, our thoughts. So, if there, there may be an extra video on this, there may not. It depends on if we can hit 100% completion. Regardless, you want to send us out? Might as well. See y'all later. Stay I've, awesome. I'm ex He's Xterra, and I'm TBG. Peace out, bitches.